But right now, we don't want you to go broke in a nursing home. Don't go broke in a nursing home. Elder Advisors is in the house once again. Ooh. Larry Weiss joins me. Also, Ooh. we've got Steve Langdon here. Hey. All right, uh, for those who have not seen Larry Weiss, first of all, you know, the paparazzi's waiting. I tell you, it, it's a cross autographs. on there, brother. It is a cross <laughs> on there, John. Hey, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. It's camera. Feel Good Friday. It is Feel Good Friday. And you're feeling good and looking good. I am blessed, baby. I'm blessed. He's feeling good. He is. <laughs> I am blessed. I'm living, I'm not existing, John. Well, I, I love your energy, and you're energetic and feeling good about things because you really do help people. Because I do. One of the fears a lot of folks do have is going broke in a nursing home. Don't go broke in a nursing home. Tell them about what you do. What we do is elder advisors, John, we help families transition their loved ones from their homes, home health care, assisted living, or long-term care using financial and legal strategies to protect families' assets so they don't go broke in a nursing home. Because all too often I find people are operating under barbershop law mm -hmm. or beauty shop law which is, you know, you hear all the scuttle, but it's the barbershop, and it's almost always wrong. It's almost always well-intentioned, but it's almost always wrong. Steve does the legal exceptions for husband and wife. If one spouse is in nursing and we can protect all the assets. I don't care what barbershop yep. law says. Steve knows the law. He's the attorney, okay? So if someone's in a nursing home writing checks for $79,000 a month, we can protect all the assets for husband and wife. There's what Steve calls special exceptions. If it's a single person, we can protect about half of those assets. Well, half of something's better than all of nothing. So, you know, I love what I do. I've been doing this since 1996. I've got five great people that work with me. We pretty much treat these people as if they're our family because we're under deadlines. We're under deadlines. We've got to get this money moved because unless the Steve calls it being properly positioned, they're going to be losing seven to $9,000 a month. Whew. And that's why Tammy, uh, yeah, you know, Tammy, she loves me, but almost the producer loves me too much. Tammy, let me get into it a little bit. Thank you. Bring camera five in tight. Thank you. Okay. So what happened, John, I'm right here. I'm, Eyes up I'm, here. I'm listening. I'm okay, believe right. me. Okay. So what we do is we're offering workshops next Monday night, 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. at the Four Points by Sheraton on Crittenden Drive. Steve Langdon's uh, thrilled us to be able to come back and be our guest speaker on the legal component of what we can do to protect assets so they don't go broke in a nursing home. And then Tuesday at Indiana at 10 a.m. at the Hampton Inn on Broadway off Veterans Parkway. So we always want people to come out. It's a free workshop. Don't go broke in a nursing home. It's a free consultation. It's a free meeting. Come out and learn because it's never too late to protect those assets. All right. You, you talked about financial strategies and, of course, with Steve here, legal strategies. So to that point, and the reason Steve is here, you always tell me, you say, if I sit down with a new client, yep. there's, there's one critical question. There is. And that is? That is, I always ask families, do you have a power of attorney? Do you have a power of attorney? And more often than I would like, the answer is no. And I'm always stunned by this. I've got people that have been married 48 years and they don't have a power of attorney. And the importance of that, Steve, can you address that? Why is that so important? You've got to be able to help your loved one legally, whether it's talking to banks or insurance companies or the government itself. <clears throat> the only way to do that legally for your spouse is to have that power of attorney. And so many people either don't have it or they have one that was drawn up, but it was drawn up by the family law attorney down the street. It's just not the right thing. You, you've got to go to somebody mm -hmm. who, who works in the nursing home field, the Medicaid field, and that's all they do. Okay, power of attorney important, but it's also important to be proactive. Maybe you're watching and you're going, when should I start talking to elder advisors? When should I come to them and talk to some professionals about this transition? sooner the better, right? Right, and Tammy wanted me to give a shout out to the seasoned citizens at the First Virginia Avenue Baptist Church. We had a great luncheon event there today. They love you, John. I mean, it was really kind of sad. Oh, How many no. people know John Ramsey and the whole hand, the chorus, right? People are clapping. I mean, it's just a cavalcade for John Ramsey. I'm not, I'm not buying it, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> they love you. Yeah. And Luana LaGrange, the nurse who's probably watching right now. Uh, one thing, seriously, that Wave Through has really done for our business model is it's really extended the brand. People know us. They say, we saw you on Wave 3, John Reams, and stuff like that. I've now really started to lose count. I've lost count, seriously, of the referrals and people that have come in because of your show and because of the reach it has for the community. Oh, and it, is, it has really been a great resource for our clients because that's the whole reason we're on the show today mm -hmm. is because people are operating under the premise that nothing can be done. It's too late. I should have done it more than five years ago. And the reality is they don't have to. It's not too late. It's but, never too but late. But the sooner the better, wouldn't you by say? Far, by yeah, far. Yeah, yeah. And so when you have a someone approach you, what is the typical scenario? Is it someone who is in a crisis situation or is it someone who's smart enough to say, let's get in front of this? Well, let's talk about the road trip. Because okay, this is right. a great segue because right. this really, you know, I tell people that it's so important that you work with the right attorney. Not all attorneys do elder law defined as Medicaid asset protection. 
You know, it's much more than an attorney just drafting a will or whatever like mm -hmm. that. I mean, this is this is high speed. It's high intense. It's at the L&M building on Broadway. You're fighting with the state. Steve is a litigator. He argues in a federal and state court, both sides of the river. And that's the attorney you need if you're going to go to bat for a family and protect a lifetime of assets because the state of Indiana and Kentucky is always predisposed to deny an application. So road trip. Road trip. Family came in, and of course, I asked the, the question, do you have power of attorney? attorney? She said no. And so I'm really kind of stuck now. Because, you know, her name was on the one account, but not for the house and stuff like this. And Steve happened to be at that meeting. It was a free consultation because they were at our workshop last month. And, you know, we're, we're kind of back and forth. And Steve was suggesting maybe coordinating with the attorney down there. And then out of the blue, Steve stunned me by suggesting, Mr. Well, I just, why don't I just go down there and visit? You, yeah, you absolutely. Just went on a road like a three trip. Hour ah, it's a three-hour drive. One way. Man, that's, that's someone who really genuinely cares. There's a reason you feel that way. You've been in the situation. I've been there. Yes. And I, you could just see this client, just the weight of the world was on her shoulders. Yeah, the daughter. The daughter. And she wanted to do everything she could to help her mother, but she has siblings as well. And, you know, you, you just it's just hard. The, in, that inner family, you know, discipline there, trying to get this done was just tough. Um, and if I could volunteer to take a drive one afternoon and see if I could help, I was more than happy to do it. It took wow. the weight of the world off her shoulders. Wow. Yeah, I was done. I was, uh, yeah. you know, I, I'd not there's seen There's commitment and then yeah. there's a three hour road trip one way. Which, which, the sad thing is, you know, shame on mom for not already having a power of attorney. Mm -hmm. You know, the family should not have to wait. I mean, it's not the 11th hour, it's the 12th hour, it's high noon. Okay, Gary Cooper's coming down. Okay, <laughs> it is high noon. It is guns a blazing. Guns a blazing, and she should have had that power of attorney years ago. And for the daughter to be just stressed out, I mean, I, that was bad. Very bad. Very stressed out, and no power of attorney. Mom was being very obstinate, you know, because it's all about control. You know, the only thing in her mind she controls is that checkbook now for mm -hmm. her. And shame on mom, and perhaps others out there in Kentucky, Anna, that don't already have this done, that haven't already had the opportunity to sit down with Steve Langdon and draft a pre-plan estate plan to avoid these problems from happening. So, you know, the daughter should not have to take the attorney three hours one way. I don't even know where you went. God's country, Kentucky? I, I'm not even sure where I was. <laughs> yeah, I, it was Greenville. That's, that's Greenville, right. Kentucky. Yeah. Well, I didn't know there was a Greenville, Kentucky. My brother lives in Greenville, Indiana. No, Greenwood. There's a Greenville, Indiana. You're a good man, Steve. Yeah. No, 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 no. She not, not only overly qualified, which you are, you're a very intelligent guy, but the fact that you're compassionate, too. In fact, we're going to take a break, but when we come back, we're going to hear more about his personal story and why he's so committed. Also, we're going to talk about the workshop, so grab a pen. Workshop's on the way. Again, elder advisors, don't go broke in a nursing home. Don't do we'll be, it. Don't do it. We'll be back after these. Elder advisors, don't go broke in a nursing home. Let's talk workshops. You know, the show, sadly, we have limited time here. But if you have questions, if you have things you'd like to address, these workshops are the perfect answer. It is. It's a perfect venue for a community to come out. We're doing it uh, next Monday night at the Four Points by Sheraton on Crittenden Drive, right off exit uh, 132, off of 65. Thank you, Tam. You were late on that panel. If you want to pull up <laughs> panel five, which will be Indiana. For the Indiana community, we're doing Tuesday morning, 10 a.m. at the Hampton Inn on Broadway, off Veterans Parkway. So we really try to get out to the community because it's all too often families are operating under barbershop law or beauty shop law where they're getting all their helpful information from Barb at the beauty shop or Bob at the beauty shop or at the barbershop and it's not working. It gets them in trouble. It's well intentioned but it's wrong. So come out, listen to the experts, listen to Mr. Lang giving the legal advice, the acumen of what we need to do to protect those assets so they don't go broken in nursing home. Because again, remember, for husband and wife, there's special exceptions as Steve likes to call. We can protect all the assets. They don't have to spend all this money now. If it's a single person, we can protect half of the assets so they okay. don't have to go broke in a nursing home. But the thing is, Steve is a person. He's a great person. He has people skills, which most people don't have. Okay. I, well, that, and, and the compassion does yeah. not, I mean, don't get me wrong, very accomplished attorney. You've talked about yeah. that. But you were saying for the position that he has with elder advisors, it's kind of been developed, right? Right. You know, and Steve, he works with McNeely Stevenson Law Firm. That's his law firm. He's the attorney. He's the one that we refer our clients to on there. Um, but the thing is, not all attorneys are equal, and I dare say that to become what I think is a Medicaid elder law attorney, it's not, it doesn't happen. It's developed over time, and that's really where Steve has really kind of found his niche, I think, in that first right. stage. I have. I'm very, very blessed to be doing what I'm doing. And it's, you know, it's, I think to do this job well, it, it can't just be your profession. It's got to be your calling. And I, I fell into this. I fell into this because I went through a situation with a family member um, who ended up as a, as a result of a brain tumor in a nursing home and my brother lost everything and he didn't have to 
I could have saved, if I had known then what I know now, could have saved his house, could have saved the contents of the house, could have saved quite a bit of the money. That you saw the bad up. scenario that happens. Yeah, mm. that happens. Couldn't yeah. be any worse. Couldn't be any worse. And so I dove right into this and have been doing this work ever since. And like I said, it's a calling. When that when that young lady was there at the office and you know the weight of the world's on her shoulders. Yeah. If yeah. all it takes for me is to take a three-hour drive to sit down and chat with mom for a half an hour or 45 minutes, I'm happy to do it. Wow. Yeah, kudos to Steve Langdon. I mean, yeah. and Steven, so that was phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. Knowledge, knowledge is power, and that's what it's yeah. about because there are ways, but there are rules. And if Absolutely. you don't know the rules, you can't play the game. Yeah, don't listen to Bob at Barbershop Law because right. that's not going to work. That's why we do the workshops. Uh, we've got ours coming up this Monday night, 6 o'clock to 4 points by Sheraton. It's a free workshop. People will be in and out in about 90 minutes. It's fast-paced, and they might learn some, and they're probably going to be entertained by Larry Weiss, reform comic. And then uh, <laughs> for the Indiana people, you know, that hurts me, John Ramsey, of Way 3 Listens Live. I was being very serious and heartfelt, and I was being very no, open with you. You, you, know, you I, were laughing at me and not with me. I that do think me. there is entertainment value, and I think that's important, because if you go to these seminars, I yeah. mean, information is good, but you it want is. to deliver it in an entertaining yeah. way yeah. so that you don't fall asleep. Yeah. You know? No, that does not happen. <laughs> no, and then, of course, for Tuesday morning, 10 a.m., and the funny thing is, you know, I tell people to workshop, folks, is it okay if we have fun? You know, I kind of get everybody's permission. If I don't have permission, I'm going to do it anyway. But I ask them. It's obligatory. But it is a stressful time. And people, for the most part, except for that one guy that's been miserable his whole life, never going to be happy. I can't help him. But the other 98% of the people I'm concerned about, they like the levity. And I'm serious when I need to be. Right. I know you are. Okay. And I'm serious when I need to be. But when it's just kind of general information, people, you know, they come in, they're stressed, they're crying and stuff like that. And then, you know, people are talking, we're silly, we can have a little fun. It kind of breaks the ice and it sure. kind of gets things moving. Yeah. And when the questions get serious, I've seen you, you get serious. It's, yeah. it's kind of like, well, don't make me dial down on you, right. John Ramsey. That's right. Don't, don't make that. I, I, it's kind of like, I remember when Kevin Harnett, I had him on the show often and he'll come on and boy, when bad weather breaks out, <laughs> you don't want to be around Kevin because it's his yeah. job. He's serious yeah, about absolutely. it and as you should be. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about financial strategies. Steve, you work in tandem with financial experts with elder advisors as well. This works out fantastic because then it's like you can cut through a lot of red tape, right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I, look, I talked to somebody uh, this past week whose father-in-law had blown through over $400,000 in cash because his wife was in a nursing home. We could have saved all of that, could have saved every bit of it. Now, unfortunately, this father-in-law also has to go to a nursing home, and there's no money to pay for it. And so they came back to me finally, we're going to get this done, we're going to get them in there, we're going to take care of them. Don't go broke in a nursing home. That, that kind of says it all, doesn't it? It does. I mean, it really does. And, and the thing is with the financial, there are attorneys out there that do this or try to do it or whatever, but rarely do they engage a financial component. And I'm telling you, dollars to donuts, when a financial component is not utilized, it's costing the family money. It's costing the family money because there are concepts and strategies designed to work with the legal component to see Langdon does so yeah. families can keep all of their assets for a husband and wife or a single person can keep half. So what I've found in the community is when an attorney is just doing this on their own or mm -hmm. someone is just doing it, they're leaving money on the table and just not doing what needs to be best for the family if they're not engaging a financial component. Steve doesn't do the financial. I certainly don't do the legal. Is that a fair That's overview? That's a fair statement. Yeah. That's a fair statement. And he understands that and he's argued that with the state. No, the federal rules allow you can do X, mm -hmm. Y, and Z because he doesn't take no for an answer. He moves on. He holds the state to task because the rules allow for that. But sometimes you have to take the state to task. And, and you have to. You have to hold the state accountable to the sure. rules they created. Right. Have to hold them accountable. And they're unfortunately, or I've got a litigation background. A lot of attorneys that do what I do don't have that same background. No. So they're not as comfortable going in front of those courts and making those arguments. There we go. Right. Suffice to say, Elder Advisors is a smart call. You're going to put much more money in your pocket, keep it in your pocket. Right. And as you said, protect your assets. Power of attorney, we talked about the importance yeah. of that a lot. So if someone does have power of attorney, how much easier is your job, Steve? Oh, it's, it makes it all the difference in the world. All the difference in the world. If you don't have it, we've got to go to court. We don't want to go to court. That no. just takes time, money, and if you're involving somebody like me, if you're involving an attorney, please. Nobody wants to. I don't like going to the dentist. Nobody likes coming to see the attorney. I, I understand it. I get it. Get the power of attorney. Get it done. Avoid that courtroom process. The right kind of power of attorney, I might add. The right mm -hmm. kind. Steve's is phenomenal because, I mean, if there could be a kitchen sink put in there, it would be in there because it's quite inclusive. It's quite extensive. because. Because of some of the pitfalls I've encountered on a financial level, he has now, he's kind of learned from that. So uh -huh. that type of language and issues are adopted in his legal documents. 
so we can anticipate these type of problems so we don't have the pushback from the banks, the insurance companies, oh, yeah. and stuff like that. Experience means everything. Is there anyone who does what Elder Advisors does? We have no competition. We are the competition, Kentuckyana. Right there, camera one. We are the competition. <laughs> they feel our heat. They feel the heat. They feel the heat. Uh, if you have questions, and you may, or if you just you don't want to go call us for a free consultation. Home, call for a free consultation, and let's put up the workshop uh, days yep. again. Once, if you would invite yep. everyone out, Larry. Thank you, John Ramsey, Way Three Listens Live co-host Larry Weiss, <laughs> Elder Advisors. Monday, 6 p.m. Four Points by Sheraton on uh, Crittenden Drive, right off exit uh, 132 on 65. And for the Indiana folk, 10 a.m. Tuesday morning at the Hampton Inn on Broadway off Veterans Parkway. Don't go broke in a nursing home. It's never too late, Kentuckiana. Come out to the workshops. You're going to learn. You may even be entertained, but it is worth your time. Yep. And you'll also see all this handsomeness. In he is person. beautiful. You know what? I in think real he was life, talking to me. In, <laughs> both of you. It's, it's incredible. I'm much taller in television. <laughs> Again, Elder Advisors, don't go broke in a nursing home.